Good morning to Anderson, Muncie, and Carmel. This morning, there's an urgent need for face coverings as well as hand sanitizers. New this morning, taking the alcohol meant for whiskey into the war against the virus. So we start uh, with 25 gallons of our alcohol. Uh, the recipe is not secret. We're also going to add some glycerin. And the process to make homemade whiskey is on hold as the Bear Wallow Distillery uses its alcohol and a cocktail of government-approved ingredients to make hand sanitizers. It actually wasn't an easy switch. We didn't have any of the ingredients that we needed to make hand sanitizers except for the alcohol. Uh, we needed to get labels, we needed to procure bottles, uh, we needed to get approvals from the Federal Drug Administration. Susan Spagnolo owns one of the oldest craft distilleries in the state. During a normal week, her team would make about 1,000 gallons of whiskey. We're taking the alcohol that we would typically put in barrels to make our bourbon, and we're using that as the basis of our hand sanitizer. Now the alcohol serves as the base for a product keeping people safe. Her hand sanitizer is 80% alcohol. It's whiskey scented and meant for your hands only. We're donating uh, actually a lot of it. We're donating it to, you know, local, not only Brown County, but local communities, the fire departments, the police departments, the EMS, health organizations. Before the crowds return, Susan is thinking ahead, preparing should this health emergency reemerge. I did make a commitment to myself that I will always have the ingredients on hand, that if we needed to make that switch, I could make it faster this time. Susan was also committed to her workforce. Making that switch from whiskey to hand sanitizers allowed her to save some jobs. As you heard her mention, she donated some of those sanitizers, of course, to first responders and as well to health providers. She's looking for the, this situation to all be over because she's looking forward to making her favorite whiskey.